What's up, John? It's your boy Mike. December time, man. We're ready for Christmas. Man, the mail has been late, but got a bunch of mail coming in and I uh, went game hunting today. Got a lot of pickups, so we're going to get into it. All right. That's what's up. So here's a bunch of pickups. Um, recently got a PS3 from my boy Greg. So I've been grabbing some PS1 games. Got Gundam Battle Assault 2. I played a little bit of this. This is pretty sweet. It's like a fighting game with Gundam. Uh, and then I picked up these two from Rare and Classic. I got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and 3. They had 4, but I don't really like 4. And I really feel like I need to get 1 first. And then maybe I'll go for 4. But love me some Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Then uh, I picked this up from Greg. Street Fighter 4. Um, I've been playing that a lot. I got a fight stick uh, right here. And I customized it. So I've been playing that. Um, playing the fighting games. So yeah, Street Fighter 4. And then I just picked this up today. Haven't played it yet. Street Fighter Tekken for the PS3. So uh, going to be checking this out in a little bit. Uh, this right here, ooh, beautiful. Um, I did this mod. I did a black one, like, uh, was it a month or two ago? Um, and it's the new screen. It's called a Q5 um, laminated IPS screen for the Game Boy Color. And uh, they look really cool. They go in perfect every time because the screen is laminated to the glass. And uh, so I did this all white. Game Boy Color mod because uh, I'd already done a black one, so I got another Game Boy Color uh, in the end of November, and I was like, "Yeah, let me do another mod." So I like this one, really nice, really clean. This is like my Sunday Bible school in Game Boy Color. All right, then NES. These aren't even early pickups. So I was just kind of showing off this stuff. Um, for whatever reason, I didn't have a clean copy of Super C, or I had sold my copy of Super C, so now I got Contra. I have this complete in box. Super C and Contra Force. Hard to find game. I don't know why in my area, I live in Houston, Texas, I never see this game in the wild. Um, it's really hard to find. And maybe, I know it's a rare game in general, but I feel like some games just like never made it to Texas or something. Um, and then another trilogy that I completed, I'm going for a full Konami set. So I got uh, Tiny Toons, Tiny Toons 2, Trouble and Wacky Land, and Tiny Toons Adventure Cartoon Workshop. So really cool uh, trilogies for Konami. Another Konami one that I knocked off the list was a uh, Gradius 5 Screw. Um, a pretty clean label. I don't know why, man. Konami labels always peel up. Whenever I find them, the label's torn and the label peels up. So when you find a nice Konami label, um, pick it up. Then got some more Capcom games. I'm going for a full Capcom set. So I picked up a clean 1942. Love these uh, the old school. Actually, 1943 is my favorite game in this series. Probably one of my top 10 NES games. And it's just way better than 1942. But um, this is the original. Really cool. Then uh, this came in the mail today, Darkwing Duck, again, I don't know why these Capcom labels peel up a lot of times, um, but yeah, happy to add this, Disney uh, Capcom games are the best, actually this game is on, a Turbo, they have a version of this, a different version of this game I think is on Turbo Graphics, but uh, I never have, I don't have it, but I have played it on an emulator, but uh, yeah, added that and then this one is really heavy and i don't think i showed it off yet i apologize if i did but i'm just showing it off again mighty final fight Ooh. very rare capcom nes game and really cool in the uh final fight series and uh but they're like little kids so it's uh it's a really cool game really clean copy too the secret my secret to get in these high-end games is on eBay, they're all listed by it now, really expensive. And then oh, they're, they're not, nobody's accepting best offers, but just uh, watch the auction and then wait. And then 
people will just start lowering the price, lowering the price, lowering the price. Or sometimes you can message. I think I messaged the seller on this one because it was like the copy that I wanted, the clean one. And I was like, hey, would you do this for, you know, 50 bucks off? And, you know, usually people are like, yeah, especially if they're not video game people. Sometimes you find like flippers or like resale people that go to like thrift stores will have games like this. So that's my secret for getting those. And then uh, I'm going to reset the table here and I'll show you a bunch of paper that I picked up today. All right. All right. I had a couple more games that I forgot. You know, I see one here. Um, these I picked up at the collector's market, which is like a flea antique mall, I guess. Yeah, antique mall. Um, but yeah, Kendo Rage. If you haven't played this, this game's really cool. Don't be fooled by the cover. It doesn't look like that fantasy. It's actually a really fun uh, game, kind of like platformer hack and slash with like upgrades and like really good game. Uh, I don't want to say it's underrated. A lot of people know about this game, but uh, yeah, I picked this one up. That's pretty cool. And then an NES cart, Crystalis. This one is amazing soundtrack. Um, if you like Legend of Zelda, this game is is good i think it's probably even i would say it's almost better than legend of zelda it's kind of like dragon quest and legend of zelda mixed together with really good soundtrack uh really good game so you know anytime i see this one i always i don't know man i gotta pick it up uh, i think i sold my last copy and then this is a tiger handheld Ooh, sonic the hedgehog 3 it's actually really cool it's got like um you can pull tails in and fly around with him. Um, I was playing a little bit. It's pretty fun. I mean, it is a Tiger handheld, but for a uh, for a Tiger handheld Sonic the Hedgehog 3, it's really cool. So I just thought this was cool. I had to pick it up. Then uh, let me move these out the way real quick. Dropping stuff. This, I don't know why. I like these bootleg uh, Pokemon magazines. It's like really... It's got like a, look at this, somebody checked off all the cards they had, but it has like a Pro Beckett price guide for Pokemon cards. Fossil first edition Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> like Gengar Hollow, six bucks. Wow, this is pretty, oh, check this out. Look at this artwork, fan art, that's hilarious. I don't know. Yeah, this is fun. I'm going to have fun looking through this. Anyways, here's a cool um, insert. I don't know. This is probably on a Cap Capcom game. It's like an insert poster. Bionic Commando, Mickey Mouse Capade, 1943. Willow. Street Fighter. Coming soon. Street Fighter 2. Wow. I wonder... That's funny because these are all NES games. The California Raisins. Did that game ever come out? Uh, dude, I don't think that game ever came out. And Street Fighter 2 did not come out on the NES. This is super cool, man. This is like 1988. I don't know. I'm going to have to find out about this California Raisins game. I don't remember uh, Capcom coming out with it, but that's cool. Then some uh, Nintendo Powers. Got the Battletoads issue. Number 25. 21, Star Tropics. It's pretty clean. Rescue Rangers. July, August 1990 issue. Super Star Wars. Number 53, Batman, January, February, 90. This one's pretty tattered, but still cool. Dr. Mario, issue 18. I love this artwork. Vice Project Doom, 24. Aladdin, issue 55. So this is like Super Nintendo. Yeah, Clay Fighter. Super NES. Man, look at this colors on here. Power Blade, issue 23. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Issue 51. I should go to this house, huh? See if they got any more games. 
Johnny Pool in Spring, Texas. That's pretty cool, man. That's awesome. Secret of Mana. This is one of my favorite uh, RPGs. I played this with my daughter when COVID came out. We, we played through it. All right, now we got some posters. I got a uh, Dracula's Curse. Sweet poster. All right. Got a Battletoads. This one's sweet, man. Metal Storm. I love this poster. It's really cool. Oh, it's a little torn. That's okay, though. A oh, really cool poster. Oh, yeah. One of my faves. Weapon Lord. This was a sick arcade game. And uh, came out on Super Nintendo and um, on Sega. The The home ports were, like, not as good as the arcade. But they're still really cool. They're, like, it's like a 2D fighting game with, with weapons. Kind of Conan the Barbarian style and then Mega Man X one of my favorite games on Super Nintendo dude so cool oh this is a classic poster right here Metroid coming soon for Game Boy starring Samus Aran that's so cool they didn't even call the game Metroid 2 they just said like it's coming out on Game Boy dudes Oh, classic Tailspin. This is a game that I need to pick up. I just got Darkwing Duck, but I do need to get uh, Tailspin. Oh, classic. like this poster. Final Fantasy. The artwork's so good, man. This is like inspiration for me. I love looking at this old artwork. Even like the... Disney stuff like that. Look at that Tailspin logo. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's see what we got here. Secret of Mana. So cool. Oh, man. What a great poster. All right. Now, these two last things are like the cool stuff that I got today. Cooler than games, man. Sometimes paper is cooler than anything. Check out this sticker sheet. Super Power Club 1993. Like, it's got a New Year's 93 NES controller. The um, kind of circuit board style NES controller sticker. This was a Game Boy sticker that you could decorate your Game Boy with. And then you could put this over the Game Boy screen. And then uh, look at this Super Nintendo earth and moon with the satellite this is so cool and all these little stickers so you like customize your controllers and i always collect these controllers like i've got a i get this one right here this is one of my main like favorite controllers i love every time i see a controller with these nintendo power stickers i drop it no but i uh, i pick these up and then this here this last thing this was a birthday present from my buddy ac he owns ran classic video games two stores one on Jones Road in, in like Houston, Texas, and one in Katy on Mason Road. And this is a sealed, never opened Nintendo Super Power Club official membership pack. Never been opened. Everything's still inside. This is so cool. I remember getting this in the mail when I was a kid. And uh, of course I opened mine and trashed it, lost everything. This is from December of 1992. Um, and we could go to this dude's house too, Bradley Higginbottoms, and uh, see what, see if he's got any other Nintendo stuff. But no, nah, seriously, I mean, oh, it's so cool to find this sealed, never opened, uh, really good condition. Like, how did this survive? I would have got this in the mail and just torn it open, and then or thrown it in the trash, and this was saved. So this is really cool. I, I don't even know, like. I don't care what the value is to somebody. Like, to me, this is the coolest piece. Like, I love stuff like this. Super Power Club and uh, anything Nintendo Power. Like these, these sticker sheets are so cool to see unused. So, yeah, that's stuff I picked up today. So, that's about it. 
All right, dude. So that's it, John. Um, check out my hat, man. Earthbound five panel hat. So I make these hats. I sell them on my Etsy store, uh, Retro Bash. I have an Etsy store, so check it out. Uh, if you want to pick up this hat, I got a lot of other cool hats on there too. Um, I don't have any else out right now to show you, but yeah, Earthbound, man. Sick hat. So I'm going to play some uh, Street Fighter versus Tekken. And I uh, hope you guys have a good Christmas. I don't think I'll have another video um, until later. But yeah, Merry Christmas. Peace. I drank a beer. I drank another beer. Three beers. Four beers. Oh no. Five beers. Oh no. Six beers. Seven beers. Eight beers. Nine beers. And a blood.